Hello, Freedom Family. I want to show you our shiny new Heartbeat Photos homepage, which shows you the power of just hover. Just hover over the thumbnails to see the big image below. You will use this for your photos, guys. You can upload everything to Heartbeat Photos from your hard drive by dragging and dropping from your Windows Explorer or Finder in Apple onto the Heartbeat Photos browser. Once you've signed in, then you organize your photos into galleries and you get this effect. You can share your galleries with your friends and then you can also zoom in and share just the zoomed in portion like Google Maps. You know, when you zoom into Google Maps, you can copy the URL and it shares that exact viewport. Same with Heartbeat Photos. When you zoom into a photo, you just copy the URL and then you can share that with your friends and family. So let me show you how it works. Once you've signed in, here I've uploaded images of the home we are renovating in Dubai. Didn't know Freedom Homes is a thing? Click that eye to see the video where I talk about how we are building these homes in Dubai for people like you who want to move to Dubai and live in these homes. My point is I uploaded these files from my hard drive and now if I want to zoom in, I just press five and I can share a photo of this sunken seating area. Let's zoom in even a little bit further, nine. And you can see it right there. That's maybe it too much. So now that I'm in this sunken seating area, I hold down the control key. I can move the mouse to the address bar. And now I can copy my address bar and share it in Skype, in WhatsApp, in email, and people will see exactly this photo along with all the other photos in that gallery. That is the power, one of the features of Heartbeat Photos. Now, let's get back to the default view, which is here. Another cool feature is you can press X to switch to fit mode and X again to switch to fill mode. Fill mode means your entire browser is used to show the image, no black bars. Pressing X again shows the full image, which depending on the size of your browser window, probably will include some black bars. So X, fit and fill. Or if you don't remember that, you can just click it. I'll move myself. You can just click it down here in the bottom right corner or you can choose fit, fill, or original. Original is, as you can imagine, one-to-one. -one. That means no scaling, but normally we want to do fit uh, or fill. Then some other features are you have theater mode. Theater mode hides the interface so that if you want to browse the images just with nothing except the image, that's what theater mode is for. Or you can just press T. T does the same thing to show and hide theater mode. You can press G for grid view. Grid view lets you see all your photos in a grid so, you could e so it's easier to reorganize. Let's say I want to move this photo to the first one. Done. Let's say I want to move the stairs to the first one. Done. So now if I go press G again, the stairs are my first photo. Press G again. Let's put it back to where it was before. Drag and drop. Now it also works in this view. You can just drag a photo and rearrange it. But because of the thumbnail scrolling, it might be a little difficult to get it into the right position. So that's why we implemented this grid view because there's no scrolling here. If you have more images, it just scrolls vertically, not horizontally. And again, if you want to do it without clicking, you can just press the little grid icon in the bottom right corner. That's the toggle for grid view. And there's also a full screen mode. This just goes completely full screen to take your entire uh, desktop window. This is the zoom in button, but as I said, you can also press the keys, one, two, three, four, five, up to nine to, to zoom in. Let's go back to, to normal mode. And uh, this one shows or hides the thumbnails. So if you don't want to see the thumbnails, if you just want to see the big image, then that's how you do it. So skill testing question. How do you hide the big image and the interface? Well, you press T for theater mode, see? Oh. T for theater mode and then Z for zoom to show only the image and then X for fill. So now we have the arrow keys left and right that let me show you the entire viewport of the photos I wanna share with you. Even if they're different dimensions, different widths and heights, it will fill the entire interface. 
So this is great if you want to just have like a picture frame hang on your wall, a dynamic picture frame where you can show photos of your kids or the Mona Lisa or whatever you've put into your Heartbeat Photos gallery. And then you can just have it play all your photos uh, with a wall hung iPad. I think that's one of the cool features of Heartbeat Photos in this fill mode. Okay, let's bring the interface back to uh, what we had before. And here we are. Now, there's a hamburger menu. The hamburger menu is where you can uh, see all of your galleries as well as leave us feedback. And at the moment, there's a bug. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is a bit embarrassing. The whole point is the hamburger menu should open and stay open. It's hiding on me. So we'll fix that. This is why Heartbeat Photos hasn't been launched yet. We're still polishing the final few bugs before we let everyone in. But if you want to try it now, just go to www.heartbeat.photos. That's it. It's not a .com or a .net or a .tm. It's just www.heartbeat.photos. Type that into your address bar and you'll see our beautiful homepage. Then sign in with Google and you'll be rocking and rolling. And this is the beautiful homepage I mentioned. Now we've collected these photos as some from my own personal library. This is me uh, 10 years ago. It's a bit of a younger version of George. Uh, these are some cool photos my wife took of different sized citrus fruits. <laughs> this is my daughter Kira in the pool. Again, these are my daughter's, oh see, this is a bit, uh, cut off because it's a tall photo, but my browser is in 16 by nine. So this is in fill mode. Anyway, these are more photos of my kids. And then there's photos of my car. This is me packing everything you see there into that vehicle with teddy bears on top. This is when I was in San Francisco, getting ready to move back home to Vancouver, Canada. And a bunch of other nice photos from different scenes. So I hope you enjoy our collection of photos. We would love to feature your photos here. The whole idea of Heartbeat is to help everybody grow together as a family. Because that is the spirit of freedom. Once we get Heartbeat launched and you start uploading your favorite photos to it, we will start featuring your photos on this homepage, just like I'm featuring currently my photos. <laughs> and uh, I hope you'll enjoy what we're building here for you. Heartbeat is part of a big project. This is just the photos component of it. We also have Heartbeat Moments for creating clips of your favorite video moments while you're watching any video. I'll show that to you in future episodes. And we have Heartbeat Games, which are browser-based games, multiplayer that you can play with your, your friends. We have a wiki, a video wiki, which I can show you right now. That is at vi.ki. And again, www.vi.ki. That's it. Wiki for a video wiki. So here is where you'll be able to blog with the video clips and the photos that you collect with Heartbeat Photos and Heartbeat Moments into the Heartbeat Wiki. So we're building a platform that's multi-format monetizes everything, pays you a penny when you earn a penny, we will be doing 55% profit sharing, all the revenue we generate from the content you post on Heartbeat will be paid to you for the 55% platform revenue share, just like YouTube. If you didn't know, YouTube also pays 55% of all revenue it collects around your videos to you. Following YouTube's business model, with Heartbeat. Although we are not a Heartbeat, our YouTube competitor, Heartbeat uses YouTube. We will embed videos. Let me show you. So the top 10 steamy TV series of the 2000s. Here you can see this is an embedded YouTube video with links to the top 10 steamy uh, uh, shows of 2000. So for example, uh, let's pick one, The Vampire Diaries. And what that does is it jumps straight to that point in the video talking about the Vampire Diaries. And yeah, it looks like a pretty sexy, steamy TV show. I have not seen the Van Vampire Diaries, but uh, maybe I'll go, go and watch it now. 
that's the whole point of the wiki is it's supposed to help you discover things you didn't know by sharing moments not the entire video so you could jump to the exciting points right there here's another example girl boxer explains the pains so here oh my i don't have any moments so this is my uh, bad bad george the point is there should be time codes that represent the exciting moments for this video. Let's go to another one. Mission Impossible 7, Dead Reckoning. So here we see, you have no idea the power I represent. Click. Let's actually play it. Try it again. No idea the power I represent. Okay. This, this mission of yours. Mission is going to cost you dearly. It's going to cost you our lives. And are the sum of our choices. So you can see I've created moments for some of the most memorable parts of this video, and you will be able to do the same with Heartbeat Moments, Heartbeat Vicky. And you don't see any photos here because I don't have any, but also with Heartbeat Photos, you can enhance your articles with photos. So we'll have video wikis, blogs, uh, photos, as well as videos themselves, which we're embedding on YouTube, so that you will get more views on your YouTube channel, because we still want your YouTube channel to grow. As I said, Heartbeat is not a YouTube competitor, but it's additional ways to make money, express yourself in a multi-format way, where YouTube is only video, Heartbeat is multi-format, and you'll get, uh, to pay, you'll get paid from the first piece of content you upload where YouTube doesn't do that, of course, you need to reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, the 4K, 1K rule, in order to make your first penny on YouTube. And then YouTube doesn't pay you until you reach $100. So there's a few steps before you see your first paycheck from YouTube. But with Heartbeat, we're going to pay you a penny when you earn a penny through PayPal. Did you know PayPal allows us to send exactly one penny with no fees to you? Well, you'll be able to receive that on Heartbeat. All right, guys, hope you found this intro video or this preview video for Heartbeat Photos helpful. And until the next episode, who am I? I am the CEO and founder of Freedom! <laughs> for freedom and the Freedom Family and the Heartbeat Family that we will be building with you. We will all help each other grow together as a family. That has always been the spirit of freedom and always will be. By the way, freedom is called freedom because you are free to leave at any time for any reason or no reason with 30 days notice. That's how we founded freedom almost 10 years ago as a YouTube MCN. How many of you guys remember that? December 1st, 2013 is when we launched freedom. This is our new launch for Heartbeat and it's a platform, not building on someone else's platform. This is our platform. So we set the rules. We set the policies. That's why there's no 4K, 1K rule. That's why we can pay you a penny when you earn a penny from your first piece of content that you post on Heartbeat. It's because it's our platform, guys. And what I mean by our, I mean not just ours, but your platform. This is a platform we will build together based on your feedback, and we will involve you every step of the way. Tell us down there in the comments below what you would like to see in Heartbeat. And we will add it to the roadmap and build it. That's what we're going to do together over the next many years is build our own Heartbeat platform together with YouTube and we'll all grow together. All right, sounds exciting? Deal? <laughs> I hope it's exciting. I'm excited. Till the next episode. I am George, and you've been watching. Ooh, you're dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty-free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help 
you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.